we have here oh i want you to talk about the foam runner again right the kanye foam runner um just because you know the first video was mostly um about what he was you know talking about when he was doing his little interview with uh, the fast company alongside steven smith who barely got any words in which you know he feels sorry for him but you know this that standard kanye his, his interviews are usually an opportunity for him to kind of rant and rave about stuff but i was just thinking about the shoe in general and about the impact it could have on the footwear industry and about how people will actually receive it just because i was kind of mulling it over and thinking about where the inspiration of it come from and i think what i heard first of all oh god almighty i don't know who this person is who is that i don't know who that is i need to where's my phone actually I need to turn this off this is annoying me at the moment new launch right oh god almighty okay let me let me just put on airplane mode for now yeah so anyway um i was thinking about it today about the whole um kanye foam runner thing I've got it up here on the screen actually from the Yeezy Mafia. This is actually Kanye wearing the shoe at um, Travis Scott's um, Astro World performance. Um, I think he brought Kanye out as a special guest and he performed Follow God and a few other tracks or a few other snippets. I think he's only there for about 15, 10 minutes or whatever performing. But he's actually wearing the shoe and they actually look a lot better on as I assume they would look than they looked in hand when he was holding it, uh, talking with Steven Swift on the stage. If anything, they just remind me of a um, Yeezy 700 I already have, but just essentially imagine you got a Yeezy 700 and you were somehow able to gut it on the inside and then pour EVA um molten EVA inside of it let it cool off and somehow pop plop it out that's what it reminds me of it reminds me of the ins like it reminds me of the in, inner sock of a boot or something um I remember Stephen Smith during an interview saying something along the lines of uh Kanye is now pushing the design team in the direction of having shoes with no laces I think the reason it came behind him performing at the Sunday service and being able to slip in and out of shoes and having to tie things gets annoying so now he's under the guys where he doesn't want any um any laces on his shoes which is you know which makes sense because the these 700s i have at the moment because of the way they're shaped because of the sizing can be a bit difficult to get right to because i think from the wave runner that i have to the 700s that i have in the mauve colorway um the sizing completely is different you know they're completely different sizing completely different tooling i reckon even even the shape is quite um it's not similar at all um but then they improved it quite drastically in the mauve because they have elastics on the side of the tongue, right? So the tongue doesn't move around as it did on a wave runner. It moved around quite often. You kind of had it, you know, going to the edge. It kind of just got a bit annoying. It might even get to a point where I might actually stick a little bit of elastic on either side of it myself just to kind of make sure it sits really well on it. But anyway, the, the, the wave runner, they kind of got wrong in that respect on the tongue and they kind of improved it with the subsequent models. Um, but I'm just looking at it overall. I'm just thinking to myself, like, it might be a big game changer in terms of how shoes or how things are approached, especially when you think about the increase of, you know, um, trendy pattern socks that kids wear nowadays, the ones that they kind of have with clear dunks and clear shoes. Um, the fact that for the most part, people tend to wear, nowadays, especially people tend to wear really Larry trainers with really muted um, tops. I think about your general Essex lad, who might wear a pair of skinny jeans, some, you know, some really basic long seat top from vivian westwood with a little crest logo on the, on the you know left bro breast pocket so you know what's up and then some really larry trainers like a pair of yeezys right i think with that kind of outfit i think we might see a change in the outfits where people now tend to kind of flip it and wear really loud outfits or really loud clothing and then have muted colorways down below like imagine this wave runner or this foam runner in a black or in an off gray in an off white in like a muted um pastel colors or something like a tiffany blue um like a washed out red like a washed out orange they would work really well with some kind of louder outfits louder pattern trousers and stuff and also maybe going forward especially because the rumor is that these are going to be 70 dollars right these uh, these are foam runners so they might be the first wave run they might be the first yeezy that he kind of makes because i remember him mentioning in interviews that he wanted the yeezy that was able to he wanted a shoe he wanted to manufacture a shoe that was being able to sell that could sell under a hundred dollars and obviously everyone could buy. He could buy, you know, at Zoomies or whatever it may be. This might be the first Yeezy that he's able to kind of mass produce to that kind of level, be available in all kinds of different retailers, not only available in tier zero places. And also it might also open him up to a whole different um, segment of the market because this is a shoe that I could easily get my mum to wear, right? Because um, there are quite, you see quite often here and there, you see some pictures on teamkanyedaily.com um, or Team Kanye West Daily or whatever that uh, handle is on Twitter. They do sometimes retweet images of older folk wearing some Yeezys and shit. And it makes people laugh. It's, oh my God, they're hyping. Um, these old people are wearing hype trainers. But 
it does make sense if you're an older person to be maybe to kind of um uh lean more towards the boost um sole um area of shoes as opposed to anything else they're quite comfortable they're essentially quite easy to wear um they're you know usually that especially if it's a 350 or 350 v2s a sock essentially um the sizing is quite easy to get done and for the most part if you're an older person you don't necessarily care about your shoes matching your outfits and shit you just want something comfortable that you can walk around in all day um so that might be a cool option and then you think about it further and you think about the um medical professionals who wear um clogs and stuff right that's what they was is it Cro no i think it's crocs they wear right um medical shoes let's see if i can find it. i think it's you i think it's crocs i'm pretty sure it's crocs pre um, what nurses and shit wear okay so birkenstocks make a make a version of it too i didn't know that okay birkenstocks make a version of their shoes as well but usually, most most likely it's usually crocs that they wear isn't it um, so this is the sort of shoe that you see a medical professional wearing, like, you know, a nurse or whatever it may be, um, because by and large, they're easy or someone working within a kitchen because, you know, you can slip your foot in and out of them. Like they, they're usually quite comfortable, um, you know, just an easy shoe to get in and out of fairly inexpensive. You don't mind spilling, you know, someone's blood on it or some, <laughs> some boiling hot olive oil and shit. So imagine this area of, of customer wanting something a little bit more. But then maybe not because of the holes in it. It might be a bit of a health hazard that, that way with the holes in the front. But I don't know. Maybe maybe that might not be a good idea. But maybe just in general, in terms of just an everyday shoe that you can take with you to work, or I imagine just the kind of the everyday um, commuter, especially the people that I see going to work around Liverpool Street, um, especially the the females out there who tend to not want to wear their heels all the way from their home all the way to work. I can see them maybe wearing a firm run like this. And then having your heels in your in your in your in your bag, and these shoes being a little more chic to wear than actually wearing your fucking you know those shitty running shoes that they wear, um, they look pretty cool. I like them. I think the fact that the sole is quite thick as well is a good improvement. It looks like um, Kanye's heel comes up quite high on these, so they've actually got an actual sole at the bottom. So it's not just you're not just you know on the you're not just you don't have your foot completely on the floor like a complete pimp sole, which it helps in that regard. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of them. I think they're going to be fairly popular. I, I think they're going to open up Kanye to a whole different world. And I also think if he's able to be a billionaire on the, off the back of 350s and that regard, I think these shoes will actually take it to the next level. I'm pretty sure of it, especially if they're going to be under $100. I've heard they're going to be $75, $80. So if that's the if that's the price range, like expect these to be absolutely everywhere. Um, and yeah, I think they're going to be fairly popular. Um, I think you're going to see quite a lot of people on YouTube reviewing them as well and making them work with different sort of outfits. So it's, again, I'm interested to see what happens with them going forward. Um, again, I'm a big fan of the Yeezy, especially the Yeezy 700. I think these kind of lane, this kind of lend a lot of the inspiration from it. So I'm interested to see what they look like in hand when they're um, going to be available, hopefully recently, hopefully very soon. Um, no indication of it so far, but with Kanye being on stage and him wearing them now and talking about them with steven smith it points the direction that you know this isn't there's no smoke about fire so we're probably going to see these probably sooner rather than later maybe first quarter of next year but yeah keep your eyes peeled for that yeezy foam runner